The following contest is a last man standing match. And is for the WWE Championship. One of the biggest names in WWE, the Viper. The Viper won his first WWE Championship at the age of 24. The youngest world champion in history. Such an accomplished career for this young man. But gentlemen, we know that the Viper is at his best when he hunts alone. Methodical, dangerous Randy Orton has earned his spot at the top of WWE. He has beaten nearly every big name, slain nearly every legend. You gotta wonder, what's next for the Viper? Championship, Saxton, and plenty of them. The game has arrived. The cerebral assassin ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. Over the last decade, we have seen this man's dominance grow from a blue blood to a degenerate to a multiple-time WWE Champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE, and he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't think anyone can take him down. From D-Generation X to Evolution, we have seen Triple H amass power in WWE, cultivating strength in numbers. But there's no more room under the learning tree of the Cerebral Assassin. Now he's all about earning the gold and glory for himself. Indeed, the game has never been more dangerous. the challenger from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 245 pounds, Randy Orton. And his opponent from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Triple The champion thrives in these situations. Pride and heart will be tested. A 
A true test of fighting spirit. This last man standing match is underway. This match is all about wearing your opponent down any way you can. Pinning them for a three count is tough enough, but keeping them down for a ten count, that is backbreaking. Hooked up, DDT! Upper cut, Jarring. First a knife edge chop and now continuing the attack on the knee. Straight to the knee. Oh, upper cut! That'll knock you silly. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. He has a right where he wants him. From way up, time, a double axe handle. Pure intensity from the Viper. Triple H needs to dig deep like he's done so often before. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Straight impact on the throat. Believe it or not, a last man standing match isn't just about brute force. Anyone in this business can figure out a way to knock their competition down but this is about preventing them from getting back up. There's a reason so many last man standing matches end in a crafty way, not just a straight up knockout. This whole thing is really more about brains than it is about brawn. Oh, what a suplex. Gets out of there in a hurry. Fishing for something beneath the ring. Oh, what a clubbing blow. Boom, did you hear the impact? Hoist it up, into the snap, suplex. Gets inside the ring. Two, three. Not Four. over yet. Call Hunter's secretary, tell him we found the hammer. Sledgehammer right to the gut. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. Oh! We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. Rapid fire right hands. Ruthlessly compounding the damage now. Not the position you want to be in right now. Are you kidding me? And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Table. Yeah, gonna take it to the next level. What is this superstar thinking? They're thinking about the end, finishing this thing off by any means necessary. Close fist connects. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Oh God! He climbs into the ring. God, oh, disturbing impact. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. The Viper in bad shape here. Triple H is just plain brutal. These are the kind of attacks that completely throw off your equilibrium. Has that sledgehammer and is just daring his opponent to move first. That should strike fear in your opponent. Wielding the sledgehammer, clearly feeling the power that comes with it. He's back on his feet. And ready to keep going, it looks like. He's able to sidestep there. And he's getting downright nastier and nastier with each of these attacks. This is just getting uncomfortable at this point. Ooh. Orton never saw that coming. The Piper able to strike back. Boom! And stopping the count for some reason. What's that all about? He's not ready for it to be over yet, Cole. We got a long way to go. Oh, no, Randy. Don't do this. Not a... There's the punt. Gotta see a new champ. Orton playing mind games. 
moves of the enemy. Count gets to seven. This is close. This match ain't over yet. Triple H has him set up. Vintage Triple H with the pedigree. A championship level move. Intimidation, part of what makes Triple H the cerebral assassin. Six. Getting Seven. close to 10 here. Now you gotta Eight. dig deep. Time to play the game. Ten. And the champ retains. Here is your winner, and still, the WWE Champion, Triple H. An important victory for him in this match. Triple H remains the King of Kings with that big win.